This is the Viking Ninja Steel Mace 360 tutorial. So, what we want to do to get started is understand the trajectory that we're looking to have the steel mace travel. So we're going to identify some planes of direction in relation to the human body. So, anatomically speaking, we have a plane, if we cut our body in half from right to left, we call that the sagittal plane. If I stand to the side here and I cut my body in half, we have a plane we call the frontal plane, and we'd have a, a dissection of the front part of our body and the back part of our body. So when we're performing the steel mace 360, we want to set up the movement so that the steel mace travels in our frontal plane behind our back. So now that we understand the direction we want the steel mace to travel while performing the steel mace 360, let's get ourselves set up for the movement. Now, without even holding the steel mace, I'm gonna set it down for a moment, we're gonna have our hands stacked on one another and the hands will be down by our navel. Now, if I take the top hand and I point that finger off to the side, that will be the direction or the shoulder that the steel mace will travel over the, the head of the steel mace. The bottom hand is pretty important. I tend to focus a little bit more on the bottom hand. So if I point my finger in this direction, this is telling me the direction that my hands will go. Now, I often cue people to take the uh, top elbow here and think about creating an arc and arcing that top elbow up and that really encourages the hands to go in the appropriate direction um, allowing and setting the steel mace to travel as we discussed in the beginning in that frontal plane. Okay. So now we're getting ready to perform the steel mace 360 there's two drills we need to be familiar with. The first is the clockwork drill. So I'm going to hold at the end of the steel mace the handle with my hand stacked around where my navel is. And I'm going to move the steel mace from side to side as if it was a pendulum on a grandfather clock. Make sure that your shoulders are retracted so you've got your, your periscapular muscles engaged. Soft knees and make sure you're tucking the hip in a hollow body position. Now the next drill is the pendulum drill. So we're going to, in control, bring the steel mace so it's behind us. Hands are still stacked, and we want to get the steel mace to move freely behind us. Again, soft knees with the hips tucked, or in that hollow body position. And now you can turn your head, and you should be able to observe the head of the steel mace on either side. Provided you can do both of those drills well, then we're ready to attempt the Steel Mace 360. So, keep in mind as I discussed in the beginning of the, vi the video, the directions of movement that we're looking to focus on. So, in this case, we're focusing on having the Steel Mace move within the frontal plane. So, I will take and hold the bottom end of the handle. My hands are stacked by my belly button. So from here, I point my finger off to the side on the top hand. That tells me the direction the steel mace head will go. So it's going to be going over that shoulder. And then the bottom finger tells me the direction my hands will go. So my hands will go towards that side of my head. So with soft knees in a hip tuck position, I bring my hands up by the head, let the steel mace flow behind me smoothly. And that is your Steel Mace 360.